Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It took me a long time to remember what day it is, um, but happy hump day. I hope everyone's having a great week. Um, I just wanted to start off by mentioning if you guys are having any difficulties or struggling or you're, you're falling off your habits or you're falling off your um, rituals, you know, you kind of losing track or losing momentum, just remember small incremental changes. You can always get up. You can always drink your water. And just start by restart over by doing that one thing. I heard someone say daily imperfect action doesn't have to be perfect. The journey doesn't have to be perfect. Just daily imperfect action to continue moving you forward. Um, with that being said, I would love to talk about anxiety more. <laughs> um, like two days ago, we talked about the physiological size um, and how that can clear carbon dioxide and oxygen and start to stimulate the parasympathetic system, calm the sympathetic system to help us get out of those states of anxiety in the mind with our body. And a really cool second tool that I learned from the same research actually involves the eyes. So we talked about the lungs um, and the diaphragm and how they're directly connected to the central nervous system and that's something that we can control. Um, another thing that is not only connected to the central nervous system, but a really cool fact about the eyes is that they are a part of the brain. You may or may not know that. Um, they, they are one with the brain. They were pushed out from the skull um, in the first trimester, and they're just basically two parts of the brain outside of the skull so that we can see threats um, coming before they're on top of us. Um, and the parasympathetic, no, the sympathetic response, <clears throat> our stress response, the thing that makes us anxious, it's like, was developed because we were getting chased by tigers. And I'm not really sure that when I'm in the lab and I have 10 things to compound, I still think I'm getting chased by a tiger, but apparently my body thinks I am. So... Another thing that we can do with our eyes is panoramic vision. What happens when we are anxious is that other than our heart speeding up, um, mind racing, our eyes dilate and we have, I really like this word because <laughs> portrait mode with our eyes, right? We like single in on one thing and then everything else around it becomes blurry. Um, and this happens, it's like, it's not like your, your vision's becoming narrow so you can focus on the threat. And to kind of combat this, we can do the opposite, which is panoramic vision. It's obviously easiest if you're in the woods hiking or you're looking at a horizon or a beach or something, automatically your eyes kind of become a little unfocused and you 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 try and look at things in your periphery all at the same time and but that's something that you can do on purpose even without a horizon I, it's probably I'm not gonna lie gonna be a little bit hard for me like inside a closed space inside a lab or maybe for you at a workplace um, but if you can step outside or if you can look out a window or even if you can't just kind of fixing your eyes on a point and then trying to drag your periphery outwards this like unfocused panoramic vision and that can combat with the eyes um, that sympathetic anxiety ridden response that we have to start to calm our central nervous system so we have breath we have vision um, and these are tools that we can use when our mind's kind of going in overdrive. I must admit the um, physiological breathing isn't natural for me yet. So even though I've been really stressed at work, 
it's not something I automatically turn to. I did just kind of take a step away and meditate in the middle of the day. It was like, I just need 10 minutes to reset myself. Um, so I need to kind of make it more of an automatic response when I'm anxious or stressed that I do the breathing and I, and I do the panoramic view. Um, I think talking about it makes it easier because it brings it to the forefront of your mind and also having friends to talk about it with coworkers, people on the same page to kind of remind you um, that these are tools that you can use let me know if you use it let me know if it helped let me know if it didn't help um, I love you guys I will talk to you tomorrow have a great day bye